and finally says, no more. We did it. We did it. Niv Mizzet. Oh boy. Okay. Let me just tell you right off the bat. I know <laughs> Niv Mizzet Guild Pact is not that good. All right. There's already a five color Niv that is way, way better than Niv Mizzet Guild Pact. And I also know Gates as a strategy is also really, really hard to make work in Brawl. But you know what? I was determined today, for whatever reason, I woke up with one of my stupidest ideas of all time. Full Ravnica flavor. We're combining Niv Mizzet Guild Pact with Guild Gates and Maze's End. And we're going to try to win <laughs> with Niv Mizzet. Hidden, drawn cards, and or with Maze's End. That's the video. That's what you're going to watch. Let's go. All right. I, I'm recording this after I've done the video. It took me so long to get Niv Mizzet to pop off, but I promise you, if you stick around, you will actually get to see what Niv Mizzet comma guild pact does to an opponent when it finally goes off i don't think i mean yeah okay i didn't build this deck like fully optimized it's not competitive brawl levels that's i mean that's obviously clear unless i take a deck from somebody else who knows how to make a competitive brawl deck i don't usually hit that kind of level and i definitely didn't hit it today but you know what I think I hit a fun level, all right? You're still watching, so you're here to see Niv. Okay, let's talk about what we did with Niv. Niv Mizzet Guild Pact, 6-6 six, six, flying hexproof for multicolored legendary dragon avatar. When it deals combat damage to a player, it deals X damage to any target. Target player draws X cards, and you gain X life, where X is the number of different colored pairs among permanents you control that are exactly two colors. <laughs> it seemed really good until that last clause. Sometimes when they write these cards, I think they like, you know, they, they make it sound really awesome in the end. And then it's like, activate only once per turn. Activate only if you control other permanents that are two, exactly two colors. Well, that's what we've got. That's Niv. That's this Niv. There's another five color Niv. Niv Mizzet Reborn. I've done a video of that. Check that out. That deck is very good. Okay. Most five color commanders are very good. Because you can play anything. You can play the best cards from every color. We're doing a little bit of that. But <clears throat> I am doing mostly Ravnica flavor. Obviously, the real theme, this is for, to, to run a Guild Gates deck. I've been trying to make a Guild Gates deck work. You, be the, you watch the video. You be the judge if I actually made it work. We've gotten some new gates since the last time I tried it. We've got... Gate to the Citadel, Gate to Sea Tower, all these Baldur's Gate gates. The real key one from Baldur's Gate. I mean, we got in Thran Portal, uh, which fairly recently in the last year. Key one from Baldur's Gate is Baldur's Gate Gate, the legendary land. Uh, it's like the Nykthos of gates, all right? Tap, add, X mana of any color where X is the number of gates you control. It turns out in a 100-card deck, this doesn't <laughs> work as well as I thought. Uh, or maybe I just needed more... Well, you can't have more than one copy of any given guild gate. I mean, I've got all ten guild gates, plus these other gates, plus I've got circuitous route. That's like the best way to get gates, um, other than Primeval Titan. So, if we can get Primeval Titan going, pulling out gates every turn, eventually we can get ten gates with different names... And Maze's End, and we can... Maze's End, not even a gate, by the way, so you can't find it with the Securitas route. But if we do get Maze's End, we can get that out, we can return it to our hand, and if we control 10 or more gates with different names, we win the game, okay? That is our secret win con for the deck. Mostly we're going to try to win with just beating down with a 6-6 six, six flyer. All right? Niv Mizzet. Actually not that... <laughs> Not that shabby, 6-6 six, six flying. And Hexproof for Multicolored, which removes some of the, you know, better uh, removal spells. So what do we got uh, in our deck? I'm trying to move this companion slot away. It's because we're running... Uh, what, what is causing the companion slot to appear here? 
Oh, just because Luris is in the deck. All right. Source to Plowshares, Wash Away, Blood Chief's Thirst. These are like, you know, Get Lost, Tail's End. These are kind of like staples. <laughs> then we start to get away from the staple. I mean, Delight Halfling is kind of now a staple. This is nice. It's going to keep our Niv from getting countered. It also can tap for uh, mana of a legendary... Or play a legendary spell that gives you a mana of any color, which is nice because we have a ton of legendaries in the deck. Gilded Goose, Goose, a worse version of that. Deathrite Shaman actually is okay as long as opponents are playing fetches, and we have a couple fetches. We're not on the full fetch plan. I wanted enough um, basic lands to get pulled out by stuff like Securitas Route, but maybe that was a mistake because we've actually, we don't have a ton of land ramp. We're more on the creature ramp plan. We've got Elysian, Caryatid, there's Into the North, which is some land ramp, and that's why those are snow-covered lands, all those basics. Lotus Cobra is a nice little landfall card. Once Upon a Time, of course, is legal in Brawl, if you wanted to play that again. Paradise Druid, Prosperous Innkeeper. Okay, now we're getting into the two color cards. Kalane, okay, Legendary, makes a treasure. Going to trigger Niv. Bard Class, it works with Legendary stuff. It's going to trigger Niv. Black Market Tycoon, not a Legendary, but makes treasures. And it will help with Niv getting triggered. Hajar. Um, you can see we kind of got the the Gruul legendary package here. Hajar is a 3-3. Three, three. When you sacrifice it, legendary creatures gain plus 1, plus 0, and indestructible. It's pretty good. We got Ruby. Um, you know, Once we've got another one of these legendary creatures down, we don't necessarily need Hajar for the... Because it's only counting the number of different color pairs, right? So if if you got only Gruul stuff down, it doesn't matter if you got three Gruul pairs, you got three Gruul cards, you're only going to get the one trigger. Anyways, we got Katilda, which can ramp and actually um, lets our humans tap to ramp. And like Ruby is a human and Ajar is a human. So Kalane is a human. That can be nice. Kinnon, of course, very nice. And uh, at seven mana, we can start flipping over and playing big, you know, cre what is it? Big non human creatures. Root Coil Creeper is another Simic ramper. Um, not really going to use that second ability where we cast spells from the graveyard that often, but, you know, just a 2-2 two -two that taps from a man of any color is pretty useful in this deck. That's why we got Arcane Signet, Cold Steel Heart, Ornithopter of Paradise. We've even got the Orb of Dragonkind, which really only works with Niv. And we've also got more Dragon Ramp with Revaz of the Clock, because remember, Niv is a dragon. <coughs> Excuse me, Jade Orb of Dragonkind. Gates of Blaze for the fun Gates flavor. Probably just put in a better board wipe if you're building this deck, but you know, or maybe not. Maybe you're here for the flavor. I, I guess you are, because I've told you this deck, you can stick around to the end to see the win rate of this deck, but I can tell you right now, this deck is for the flavor. A Seek of the God of the Tree, legendary creature, taps for mana of any color, gives other legendaries, tap abilities. We well, actually could play the Aseka side, but we can also play the Prismatic Bridge side, so we've got that going for us. Linvala. Little protection. Spell Queller. I thought I'd throw this in. Kind of fun. I don't think opponents will be expecting it from this deck. I mean, not not a guild member necessarily. It's from a different uh, plane. But, you know, we got Luris to bring back all everything you see in this these columns. Uh, Bank Job is an alchemy card that uh, makes treasure and will sit out in the battlefield and help us. Crucius alchemy card that makes treasure. Like all you really need to know. Uh, Rudstein is non alchemy card that can make treasure. Tyvar can let us um, activate creatures as though they had haste, which is good for all these tappers. Unfortunately, it doesn't give haste to niv it, but you know what does? Rhythm of the Wild. The, the riot ability, you can choose haste, because we really want to be able to swing with Niv the moment it comes into play, which is why we also have Halana and Elena and Samut Tyrant Smasher. But getting back here, we also, anytime you're running a five-color commander, throw in Faberro Elder, it's just such a hilarious combination. It was a little bit win more, but to have a 5-5 five, five that taps for five mana for the cost of three mana is pretty fun. Uro, of course, why not? Throw that in. <laughs> when you're going to need all the help, we can get Chromatic Lantern and Relic of Legends, our, our three mana rocks of choice. We talked about Circuitous Route. Prosper is, uh, you know, another alchemy card that makes treasure. What are you going to do? Binding the Old Gods uh, is a removal plus ramp, which is fun. This Sigarda, Font of Blessings, I kept drawing this. This is actually really good in this deck. Um, again, just 
to try and get Niv to survive one turn is hard. It's hard in this format. People are playing very tuned. It's the most competitive format in Magic. And I'll fight people about that. But Sagarda gives you a chance to get Niv Mizzet through. And we do also have some human spells. I don't, I, do we have an angel? Yeah, Laval's an angel, right? Yeah. We've got some other stuff that, you know, a little extra bonus about casting off the top of your library. Firemind Vessel, of course, has a picture of Niv on it. We're not going to not run it, even though it's a four-mana rock that comes into play tapped. And then there's the Alchemy <laughs> Rock that does the same thing and is so much better. Uh, we'll run that, too. Ru Urza's Ruinous Blast. Uh... Again, more of the legendary flavor for this. Uh, run a, you can run a better board wipe. And Crux of Fate is kind of a fun board wipe here to destroy all non-dragon creatures so we can save our Niv. Of course, if we wipe out all these other creatures, Niv's not going to hit as hard. But sometimes you just need to hit that emergency reset button. Prime time. And then Olivia Crimson Bride. Uh, this card is so good in these kind of like legendary decks to just like come in. It's haste. We can bring back, we can even let Niv go to the graveyard if we really want to risk it and go and attack and stuff. So that's pretty fun. Um, in terms of the other lands to take a look at, we do have some of these channel lands, Odawara, Poseju, um, Aganjo. We do have some of the new Surveil lands, Underground Mortuary and Hedge Maze. Of course, we have World Tree to have perfect mana fixing. And uh, Thran Portal has been alchemized. Interesting. And abilities of Thran Portal. Huh. Uh, I guess the, the non-alchemized version is uh, enters tapped if you have two or more lands. But I guess for alchemy, they thought that was... They they over had overcorrected, so they uncorrected it, I guess. They powered it up. Anyways, there you go. That's the deck. Helping out the uh, the gate strategies with the Thran portal improvement. <clears throat> Deck list, as usual, will be in the description. Stick around to the very end and watch this gameplay because uh, if you like to see me lose and gradually lose my mind, this is the video for you. But I promise you, Niv will have his revenge if you stick around. All right, enough of my jibber-jabber. Let's take a look at niv Mizzet Guild Pact. Up against the Bacon Monster. Now I have one degree of Bacon Monster separation. Oh, we got a good selection of lands. And opponent, no! Well, uh, you saw it here first, folks. We've just beaten Boja Joss of the... With Niv Mizzets. How is it possible? Okay, up against Sadric. I've known some Ricks in my life, but none of them were sad. Uh, I think we can keep this. We got Black Market Tycoon on turn two if it sticks around. Could have well, Faber Elder, Prosper Tomb Brown. Could get lots of good stuff. There's a prime time, which we've added. Turn one command tower. Intimidate you. Turn two, besage you. Sorry, right, I gotta play you. And then, hmm. Tireless Provisioner seems good, except we don't have another land to follow it up with. But if we draw land, maybe play that instead. We do draw land. Eh. So we could go Prosper. They're playing a Johnny. They seem like they're just going to try to gain a bunch of life. Um, so we're going to lose some life on the treasure token. That's okay. We could kill the Kami. He's a mana dork. Let's just get rid of it. Oh, it's not, not low enough uh, in mana value. K 
case of a tranquil garden. That's a big kami. Communist party. Creatures you control have vigilance. Interesting commander. I don't think I've ever faced against a Johnny the Great Hearted. Two damage for each treasure. We're going to take it. Got key to the archive. Make another treasure. Make another treasure. Okay, so we got seven mana to spend. I think we could prime time here. Put some more lands into play. Um, otherwise, yeah. Well, seven mana, so we could do a four drop and Fayborough Elder is the other possibility. That seems kind of fun. Play Fabro Elder next turn. I guess prime time we brought two lands and we could have made two more treasures. Maybe that was actually the correct play. Um, we take Putrefy. I mean, time warp seems pretty annoying too. But I trade it for Prosper. Uh, what you first now? Trade for Prosper. Fire Prosper. We got all the treasure generators we need. So we play a Johnny. We play Sovereign Ukanek How. This is a cat deck. It's just planeswalkers and stuff that likes plus one plus one counters. Horn Beetle, okay. So they just solved that case, that's not great. Treasure. Treasure. Okay, so this taps to add two mana and a combination of colors. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, plus potentially a bunch more once Niv Mizzet is down. So let's play the Niv. Crack. Green. Prime time. This is working. This is I like this. I like where this is going. Two land, any two land cards. We could get Plaza of Harmony to gain some life. Get the World Tree to have perfect mana. Um. We get this to surveil. What do we want? What do we want? I think we'll take Baldur's Gate and where's the gate that uh, gains us life? Lots of harmony. Sorry. Just learning to play this deck, okay? All learning here. And that leaves us with just enough mana to putrefy here. We got a floating black mana. This is Ward 2, though. So the best we can do is the Kami of Whispered Hopes. I guess we'll pass the turn. 
wait and see what they what they play. If it's a Johnny, we gotta putrefy. Probably will be a Johnny. I guess we should have putrefied there. Got an extra counter. 5 6 Flying War 2, but that doesn't beat a 6 6. Alright, well, enough of this. So we can see. Black. Green. I guess we didn't have to do that. We didn't have a mana floating anymore. Attacking. Oh, because they can put a plus one counter. I'm gonna do the horn beetle. That has the oh, that got a big boost. Jiminy Christmas, and that's trample. Um, no blocks. Take seventeen. That was nasty. Oh, and they sunfall. Okay, it went nice for that. We'll take out Elspeth Resplendent. I mean, they can basically kill us with that 7 7, can't they? That's the turn. Those will seek. Johnny. Transform. They put a plus one counter on it, and they put another plus one counter on it, and we're dead. Uh, undo. Seek a card. Desperately seeking Susan. Build a... Man, we're gonna die to this case of the Trample Garden. Oh my goodness. Good game. They got us. In Sovereign Ukenek Ahaw. With one mana? We'll more mana. A bit more like it. Man Tower, Black Market Tycoon turn two, Blunking turn three. Like it. Whatever it attacks for each creature you control with power greater than that creature's base power. Another plus one, plus one, plus one creature. One of the hardest cards to understand in recent memory. Oh wow, it's Battle of the uh, Command Towers, but mine taps to add more mana, so gotcha there. I think it might take two damage to the to make the treasure. Well, ooh, or we could. Play the little elder is nice. Uh. With Revaz of the Claw. Don't see you don't see revaz every day. I'll just make a treasure now. Even though technically they might have some removal. And that was probably a mistake. Between revaz and another tap of 
Black Market Tycoon, which would be good to cast Nib Mizzet. Well, it might be nice if we draw land. Oh, hey! Guess they had a risky keep. We'll take the win. Doing the Gates thing and the Niv thing. I don't know if we'll ever get to do the Niv thing. Got to get five mana, then it's got to take a turn cycle. Five, one, one of each color mana. Take a turn cycle, and it's got to connect. It's flying. Rao. Oh, well, that's a C. That's a C E H. C. That's a C Brawl. C H B deck. Um, not sure what. I guess, I guess they could fizzle out. Possibility. Not sure why I kept this hand, by the way. Oh, okay. Well, I wish I'd played the stomping ground first. Do I throw? Gain three life. Get a land we can ramp with this, otherwise we'll do this. Replicating a ring. Taking a land, okay. Play this. Make a treasure. Play Catilda. Look at that. Look at that. We're ramping like a champion. Ral's just gonna combo off the land. <laughs> but you know. Okay. Into the royal. Increasing vengeance. Okay. I don't think that actually slows us down as much as opponent thinks. Uh, and grip is interesting. Exotile permanent with mana value four greater. But that's better. What do we lose? I don't think Crux of Fate is very good in this matchup. I do have a tutor on how to play Rao. Okay, so we actually have Niv Mizzet mana, but the question is do they have Counterspell, which they probably do. If I do this, I can't do anything else. So let's do Prosperous Innkeeper. And Alana and Elena. That might draw a counterspell. Doesn't. Oh, okay. Gain some life. Ooh. Attacking you with a prosperous innkeeper. Look out! So discovering the formula. They're like, yeah, whatever. I'm just hunting for my combo. Don't worry about me. All right, but with halfling, Niv is uncounterable, and then we can give it haste. Anger the gods. Okay, opponent saw that coming. Guess what? We can make it hex proof. Make it a hex proof 7-7. Seven, seven. How about Dem Apples? Treasure Cruises. Draw three cards. Pass some Mind Stone. Interesting. Well. Hmm. We can build up a huge board here. As Niv, we can't hold up and despark. I think we just want to ramp again. If I do this, I don't have despark mana. Right. 
We'll hope that we're not dead to um, to Ral. All the storm giants. A good sign. I might not bother to play that if they're just going to combo off. Bounty of the Deep. They sought two non-land cards. Not enough mana, I think, to storm off with Rao. Oh, okay, they're going to play Rao, though. Scry. Okay, we can despark Rao. Man, they're just uh, relentless in killing our mana dorks. Get Rao out of here. Bye, Rao. Uh, do I have? I don't quite have enough to bring back. All right, well we're holding up Tail's End. I try to play Ral again. Too bad. Glittering. <laughs> holding our own. Holding our own here against the. deck, but they have a counter for our counter. And they're just going to be like, yeah, no, we'll fire it off next time. Right. Don't you worry about a thing. Huh. Grand portal. What do we need? We need white, and black, and blue. Let's do blue. Uh, we still don't have enough to cast Uro, huh? We need five other cards. Okay, we need one more card in our graveyard. Opponent has been too handy at exiling. Let's see. Let's get the... Uh, there's the Ramper Gate. And maybe the Gain Life Gate? I don't know. Their combo is infinite, so it doesn't matter how much life we have, I don't think. Where's the ramping gate? We get Maze's End. And Baldur's... What's it? The Baldur's Gate? Oh, yeah. They're not organized by gates, of course. They're in alphabetical order. Okay. Opponent might just be trying to beat us down with all the storm giants. Let's see. Pretty sure this is like the exact list. Except for maybe replicating right. Not sure if I recognize that. But the exact list of my Ral deck video. Which is the exact list of the person who won the historic brawl tournament. Brittle Blast. Okay. We're duplicating that just to kill. Prime time. Of course it uh, exiles, that's not nice. We gotta prosper, but I think I think I wanna get down Niv Mizzet. Maybe they're out of removal. What are the chances? We see. Do you have the combo on it? I feel like increasing vengeance is one of the pieces. Okay, minus Rao. Here comes the combo. Potentially. Oh, 
where they planned to they planned to minus route to use a double removal spell. They don't realize it's hex they didn't realize this is hexproof. Ah, expansion explosion. Deal us eight damage, draw eight cards. That's not bad. That's not too shabbers. Not too shabberific. They've gotten a fetch land, so I can put one more thing in the graveyard. Belunking with uh, Maze's End is nice. Well, it's definitely got a clock here. I have to discard a bunch. Okay. Thinking about cracking their Mind Stone even. Ooh, Hajar. Play that. They're going to remove Niv Mizzet. They're going to do it now. Okay. They were not able to remove Niv. Let's get down Prosper as well. Not sure why it tapped Maze's End. I still activated that. Hey, hey, we connected with Niv! We did it! Deals X damage to any target. Uh, let's deal an extra couple damage to you, I suppose. We're going to draw some cards. I'm going to draw two cards, to be exact. You know, that's... Two more cards than we... Yeah, no, this is a Bayashino Warlock. It doesn't get the bone. They abraid the key to the archive. Probably a bit late on that. Can I play this? I need more mana. It definitely. Oh no, it replicated! It needed eight to replicate. Almost got all the mana in the world now. And there's Ral. Here we go. Yeah, I should be running replicating ring. <laughs> there's plenty more where that came from. The opponent basically has to win this turn. Barnes temporal sundering. I take that back. They have to. <laughs> they have to win next turn. I guess that's a good sign. They wanted to take another turn. Another two turns after this. Do some vengeance. Another three turns after this. your next turn. So we still get a Beseju. I was getting a lot of extra turns. Is that seven extra turns? No, it can't be that many. They're bouncing our whole board. Didn't give hex proof. Oh, uh, yeah, come back to my hand. They've got three extra turns. Okay. Well, they should just be able to win with all the storm giants now. 
You're taking too much. <laughs> you've you've got me. All you had to do was attack with all of the storm giants. I had I got one block, and then it would have killed me in the two more swings. So I did the math, but it was a good game. We connected with Niv. That was what mattered. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Omnath Locus of the Royal. <coughs> maybe, maybe this is the one. Um, I don't think I'm going to use the video that I did right before this. It's late at night. My oldest has probable strep throat. I'm going to be dealing with that tomorrow. I'm trying to make a video. I'm trying to get a video out here. Gate to Manorborn. But we get once upon a time. I'm going to keep this. We get once upon a time for a good land here. Go get wooded foothills. Oh, we got arcane signet. Yeah, practice. We have one shock land. <laughs> the other possibility is the surveil lands. Get like green, black, or something. But I guess we'll do the shock land because we want it. We got a one mana. Uh, even though we've already got green and red covered, between the arcane signet and everything else, we should be in good shape. Maybe I should have done the surveilling because we could have arcane signeted next turn and then did the halfling off the arcane signet. A Chandra's Ember Cat. Ooh. Oh, elemental synergy there. Um, do I go Orb of Dragon Kind or do I go Innkeeper? Go with the Orb. More artifact sources. One, two, three, four, five. That should be <laughs> a turn three Niv. We can even play a tap land. <laughs> All right. Full elemental tribal. Much respect here. They're just playing common and uncommon. I love it. Um. <laughs> yeah, play play Niv and a tap land. Over to you, opponent. I hope I'm not coming down with strep throat. Green, red, blue, a 6-6 six, six flying hexproof from multicolor. It's going to be not so easy to remove, necessarily. Let me re refresh on which Omnath this is. I, play that. I guess we could play the land after we get the land ball trigger. Starts drawing them cards once they get to 8 lands. They're not that concerned. Uh, oh, but they took out the delighted halfling. Yeah. Uh. They played this and Livala. Only does uh, I guess we want Livala down. Keeper. Livala. With Niv. We get damage and cards too. Take that. Oh, yeah. Faber Elder. Oh, 
Hopefully that's far enough off mic. I apologize if it's not. Ooh, Risen Reef. This is like the best card in their deck. I remember this Elementals. Package when it was in Standard. And a Cloud can see here. Let's give him a nice... Somebody just dropped in from 2019. Is that when M20 came out? It came out in 2020. This wasn't a pandemic set, was it? I remember playing this in LGS. Hmm, okay, so... It's a guard, uh... No way to get... Um... I can see it's just gonna chump, yeah. Love to get this favorable elder down too, but Roots and Reef getting bigger. We got some serious air power. Oh, they're taking a time warp. Let's do the time warp again. I may have to draw a card and play a land, but you know what? Sometimes that's pretty good. Harmonizes. Draw some more cards. Yeah, opponents could run, kind of run it old school here. It's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm enjoying Night Destroyer. New York Destroyer. Attacking with the 4 4 Risen Reef. Okay. Okay. Uh, no blocks. Either hoping we block with the Sigarda. Have to fly him for a bunch. Oh, the command tower to go with it. So I'll attack, but not you, Prosperous and Cooper. Not you. Fly you for 13. Uh, we can deal how much? Two. Uh, I guess I'll shoot two at your face. Draw two cards. Niv Nizzet is popping off here! Finally! You guys will find out how much time I spent. Maybe I say I'll, I'll say it in the introduction. Uh, Cabaret Rebels. And then Faber Elder. That should be pretty fun. Get a root coil creeper for free. Oh yeah, it's happening now. It's happening. They can't even really stop us here because we got Linvala. Even a board wipe. He's just gonna remove our Linvala. The Risen Reef is getting bigger though. The chunky, the chunky reef. One has got a lot of cards in hand. Jamie ain't over till the Bat Mizzet sings. Okay, fight rigging. Hides away. Uh-huh. Fries and pluses. And finally says, no more. We did it. We did it. Niv Mizzet. Oh. oh boy. All right, here it is. Niv Mizzet Gates. 27% win rate. Uh, heads up, hands up. <laughs> hats off. Uh, at least it was consistent. 25% on the play, 29% on the draw. So... I mean, I, what does that say? It says we're only on the play four times out of uh, 11. So, 
Maybe it would have done better if we'd been on the play a little bit more. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the two of the wins were just to concessions, as I'm probably going to play for you. So <laughs> what would I do differently? I mean, if you want to win, don't play this deck. But as you saw, when Niv pops off, um, it's glorious. And it's, and it's full of flavor. And we just had to face somebody playing only cards from 2020 or earlier to uh, to win. So that was uh, that was something <laughs> that happened. Can you tell I'm tired? It's been a long day. It's been a very long day. But I did record a video for you all. So I hope you appreciate that. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the like. Leave a comment if so. And check out other videos of decks that are way more powerful of... Uh, of uh, <laughs> Brawl decks. <laughs> Thanks for joining me here in the attic. I've been Man of Dad reminding you, magic is a game so fun, even dads can enjoy it. Adios.